But I want to touch base on something that you brought up in your book um, when you spoke when you speak about like neat levels and you know um, non non incidental exercise steps things like that. Obviously, like the general consensus is. Or, or what you see out in social media is 10, 12,000 steps a day for a lot of people, right? But you actually say around, I think, seven to 8,000 um, is more than adequate. And I actually kind of agree with that from the context of you can go for a 40-minute walk quite briskly and still only get 6,000 steps. So to get 10, 12,000 steps, like you literally need to be walking like you're on the, the plains of the, the Saharan desert, um, which is not, it's probably not feasible for most people. Um, so, like, t- talk to us a little bit about your, your, I guess, take on steps. Yeah, I approach steps as j- almost in the same consideration as resistance exercise. I want people to, yes, I want to optimize physiques. That's my interest. But if you can be healthy, and there's a lot of health to walking or, or being aerobically fit. There's a, there's, there's a lot of health menace that glucose control would be one. So I look at this steps and I, I give a number of 7,000 steps per day. It's just kind of being normal. Like every day, mm. if you look out ahead for the next eight months, you should have about 7,000 steps on a daily basis. That's your normal everyday physical activity goal for steps or for that aerobic component of your program. That also is very similar to resistance exercise. If you're going to be in this game of trying to change your body, you're going to be resistance training. There, there's, I, I would like to tell you that there's other modes of exercise. There's not. You need to lift weights. If possible. Now, if you don't want to change your body, then don't lift weights. It doesn't make any difference to me. But if you want to, that's the mode. So I look at that as, yes, I'm going to be lifting weights. Yes, I'm going to be walking out into, you know, as I look at the next decade, two decades, three decades into my future. Now, in addition to that, I look at additional cardio, going out for a run or on the cycle ergometer, rowing, maybe swimming, um, stepper, what elliptical, whatever. There are going to be periods of your life where you may want to lose more body fat. And now there's a time that you would add that in. And that would be in addition to your normal lifestyle of steps. Um, yeah. So that that's my current take on that. 